Hello explorers and welcome to another video. Today we are going to tackle day 17 of Advent of Code. So let's just run, jump right into it. Day 17, trick shot. You finally decode the elves message. Hi, Say, says the message. You searching for, uh, you continue searching for the sleigh keys. Ahead of you, uh, it happens, uh, it appears that a large ocean trench could the, uh, be a large uh, ocean trench. Could the keys have fallen into it? You better send a probe to investigate. The probe launcher you have on your submarine can fire the probe with an interior velocity in the X and Y position. Upwards and downwards if negative. So forward or, um, yeah, so up or down. Uh, for example, an initial XY velocity like 0, 10 could fire the probe straight up, while an initial velocity say one, 10 minus 1 would fire the probe forward and slightly down angle. The probe XY position starts at 0, 0. Then it will follow some tra trajectory, moving in steps. On each step, the, uh, these changes occur in the following order. The probe as x position increases by x velocity, the probe's y position increases by y velocity. Due to drag, the probe's x velocity changes by 1 towards 0, that is, it decreases by 1 if it's greater than 0, and increases by 1 if it's less than 0. Due to gravity, the probe's y velocity decreases by 1. For the probe to successfully make it into the trench, the probe must be at some tra uh, trajectory uh, that causes it to be within the target area after any step the uh, submarine computer have already calculated the target area. Your puzzle input, for example, uh, 20 to 30, y minus 10 to minus 5. This target area means that you need to find an initial velo uh, x, y velocity value such that after any step the probe's x, y uh, position is at least 20 and at the most 30 and the probe's y position is at least 10 and at most 5. Given the target area, one initial velocity that causes the probe to be within the target area after this is step 72 in this diagram. Uh, S is the probe's initial position, uh, zero, 1, 0, 0, and the x coordinates increases to the right and the y coordinate increases upwards. In the bottom right position that's within the target area, shown as T, after each step you, the area is reached, the position of the probe is marked with a uh, hash mark. So you can see the little arc here. And another initial velocity that causes it to be in the target area is 6, 3. Um, another one, 9, 0. But then 17 minus 4, you shoot right through it. Uh, so that's no good. The probe appears to pass through, yeah. If you are going to fire a highly scientific probe of a, out of a super cold probe launcher, you might as well do it with style, of course. How high can you make the probe go while still reaching the target area? In the above example, you're using an initial velocity of 6.9 is the best you can do causing the probe to reach a maximum y position of 45. Any higher initial y velocity causes the probe to overshoot and the target area entirely. Find the initial velocity that causes the probe to reach the highest y position, uh, still eventually be within the target area of any step. Uh, what is the highest y position it reaches on this trajectory? Okay, so my idea here is to create some kind of function that can take a uh, state. So I will have some kind of position state where I have the velocity and also the uh, current uh, x and y value. 
and then I will have some kind of function that can do one step and then I will try to figure out uh, if that is the highest value and if the step is within the target area and I also need some function to stop if it has overshoot, uh, <laughs> overshot. And I guess because we are doing an arc upwards, if the Y value is lower than the target area's uh, lowest va um, y, y value, then it's probably uh, expected that we have overshot if we are uh, lower than that. So uh, that's my idea. I'm gonna do some coding and trying to figure things out and I will get back to you and show you what I've come up with. And we are back. And I think this is a little bit of an hybris moment. Uh, if you are going, if you are going too far, you overshoot without any problems. And I looked at the target area here and it's not that far away. 88 to 125 and we have uh, we are below where the start position is so I said okay if I start with a velocity of up to thousand that should be plenty enough to overshoot a lot and the same goes for the velocity up uh, a thousand should probably suffice uh, I've tried it with more so we can do like 3000 here and uh, run it but I think 12,246 uh, will probably be my result as that is the highest value that I've found so far. Uh, we can look a little bit in what I've done here. So I have these four loops where I go through and try to uh, see how far up I can go. Uh, I will check if I'm above the bottom of the target because when I'm down there I have already overshot I have missed my step I do a step and then I will check if I, I'm within the target and if so I will check if this is the highest position I ever been if so I will record that and I will print it out down here the probe is pretty simple I have the x and y and the velocity x and y starts at zero every time the velocity I set in the uh, constructor down here I have the highest y for this probe and I also have the target in here and I've written down what the step one should be so we should increase the velocity we should decrease the uh, we should increase the x and y position by the velocity we should change the velocity of x depending on um, if it's higher or lower than zero we should um, also decrease uh, the velocity in the y position and that will go down if it's on the way down of the arc and we will uh, also uh, record the highest y value that we have here and then return that if we have it above the uh, bottom is pretty self-explanatory within target is also something and I also have this two strings so I can see how the velocity and x and y changes so let's see if this is the correct value for today's puzzle yes you get a gold star I get a gold star everybody gets a gold star so let's look at part two maybe a fancy trick shot isn't the best idea after all you only have one probe, so you had better not miss. To get the best idea uh, of what options are for launching the probe, you need to find uh, every initial velocity that causes the probe to eventually be within the target area after any step. In the above example, there are 112 different initial velocity values that meet the criteria. So we have all of these. How many distinct initial va velocity values causes the problem to be within the target area after any step? Uh, okay. So uh, let's see here. Mm, we should probably be able to do this by doing minus a thousand and a minus a thousand here and then do like 
plus 3000 and int uh, count equal to zero. And we will remove this one and just count plus plus and then change this to let's see here uh, count standard out and yeah so in the initial uh, probe we had um, 112 it said so let's run that to ensure that we have something that works. Uh, I guess that taking this much precaution with the, I think 3000 is a little bit much. Let's just do 2000 each. So we will, will be done today. Um, yeah, so that's 112, it worked. Let's do the same for the other probe, see what we get. And this is probably totally overkill as well. We got 3528, let's put that in. Yes, you get a gold star, I get a gold star, everybody gets a gold star. <laughs> so that was day 17, I hope that you found this interesting. I hope that you learned something today. If you like this video, give it a like, share it with your friends and colleagues. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. If you solve this in a totally different way or have any other comments or suggestions, leave them in the comment section down below. And I really hope to see you in the next video.